Looks like we're here for a while, Captain. Our boys really did a job on those tracks. Hey, Captain, you ever notice something about these guards? Old men and children, all of them. They're either 15 or 50. Everyone else is on the front or dead. Keep that in mind next time some crop tells you they're winning the war. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I had no idea. I will have your clothes returned to you immediately. I'd like you to join me later when you are dressed. It's okay? Oh, Jesus. All right, that's the shift. Group B gets the deck now. I was there. I was home. It took me about 20 minutes, but I was home. Sorry. I didn't see you. Like the kind of Sorgen lief den dein Geld in Welden mit Lieben. What'd you learn German? Flight school. Night classes. I had a feeling it might come in handy one day. You know, you guys can sit up front with everyone else. No. I think we're fine, sir. Nobody's gonna bother you. You know, sir. There were, there were these soldiers, half white, half colored, at a depot. This train pulls up, they get on, and a big fight starts. Because the white guys take all the seats up front, colored guys won't sit in the back. Now, the fight gets so loud, the train stops. The conductor comes in. All right, listen up. On my train, we don't argue about color. You got that? So. For the next few hours, we're gonna pretend everybody green. Mm-hmm. Gonna put an end to all this nonsense. You hear me? No white, no black. Y'all green. Train goes silent. And everybody nods. Conductor looks them over. All right. Now let's get this thing moving. You light greens up front, dark greens in the back. If it's okay with you, sir, Scott and I will just sit back here where we can keep those guys in front of us. Sure. Evening, Lieutenant. Evening. Some weather we've been having, huh? Mm-hmm. 
sure it would be nice to be home right about now, wouldn't it? I guess. I'm from St. Louis. Where are you from? Cornell Ridge, New Jersey. Cornell Ridge? Mm-hmm. Is that anywhere uh, near Trenton? What? <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy of mine who was in my company. He was from Trenton. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell me what's so funny, boy? You? Yeah? Did you ever take anatomy, Vic? Coronal Ridge. It's the tip of your pecker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! 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 Hey, that shit you said about the 332nd, we never lost a single bomber, not one. The only group in the whole army that can say that. Is that the best shot you got, nigga? Huh? Take him away, Thomas. Take him away, boy. Where are you taking this man? In for questioning. Well, as a prisoner of war, he has rights. We are well aware of his rights, Lieutenant. And he needs his jacket, Major. The alcohol. What they're saying, sir, is I'm not going to need it. Examples must be made, Lieutenant. We take the safety of our men very seriously. Tell me how they knew whose bunk to look under, Vic. Don't you hear? They saw him on the compound. You mean they saw a prisoner pull a spike way up over on the east field? Got a good enough look at his face, and now one of them fired a shot at him, or caught out a dog, or threw a third spike. They just let him crawl and get back into their bed, huh? and then decide to wait a few hours before busting in. You got a big mouth, boy. Archer got himself killed. You know that. One of these days, when it's just the two of us and all these people ain't around, you gonna answer for this. You gonna answer for this. You say so. Now tell me, are you enough of a lawyer to get me a pencil and some paper? I've got a wife and a child. And I would like to get them a letter and give them some warning. I was thinking I, sh I should say something about Lamar up there. It won't help us, Lincoln. What do you mean it won't help us? I'm the reason that he was captured. 
He wasn't even shot down. Did you know that? Yeah. I was hit. His plane didn't even get a scratch that day. You know how many guys would have just kept on flying and pretended like they didn't even see me go down? Look, the more you talk about Archer, the guiltier you're going to sound. Yeah, well, you heard what I said, didn't you? Somebody's got to speak for him.